Sly Sider from DarkDroid.com and today we're going to be going over ADW Launcher this time. So the first thing you want to do to get ADW Launcher is go to the market and instead of searching ADW Launcher the best way to get it is to search Ander Web. And that is spelled like this. So you're going to go ahead and search that. And it's not going to be the very first thing that comes up. But it's better search that way because you won't be looking through endless themes. So it's this one right here. You're going to download that, install it. Once it's done, hit the home key. Check the box. And then hit Ander Web or ADW Launcher. And then you're good to go. Now the first thing we're going to look at will be the desktop indicator which is at the top. You can see that little line sliding back and forth up there. Um, you can customize that if you want. Um, what you do to get that is you go to menu and go to ADW settings which is in the right hand corner. Go to UI settings and then scroll down to the bottom and you can hit indicator type and choose from the three. One of them is a dot and one of them is a line. Um, and then the very bottom one, instead of it being at the top, it will be at the bottom of the screen for whoever may like that. So after you do that, it kind of restarts itself like Launcher Pro. Give it a second. And then from there you'll see it's at the bottom now. So the next thing we're going to go over will be the actual dock itself. The dock right now is themed. Um, we'll, show, we'll talk a little bit more about themes in a second. Um, the dock is like it's like the Froyo stock dock. It looks like this. You get two icons that you can put right there, and that's pretty much it. And then you get the app drawer, of course. It's got the dots on the side, and if you hold any of the dots, it'll bring up the previews. Um, and now you can see that it has the sense like previews like the HTC sense phones so it's a nice feature to have um, you can pinch the zoom or we'll go over how to set up gestures as well I have my setup to where I can just slide my finger down and it'll show all the previews because not all the time I have both hands available to pinch the screen um, another thing that the dock actually does is it slides up and gives you a whole nother row at the bottom to put uh, different apps and shortcuts down there and it's pretty easy to use. Uh, you just put something down there to so just drag it down there, and when you do drag it, it actually lights up. And then you just leave it down there. If you want to get rid of something, you just hold an icon and put it back on the home screen or in that little garbage can that comes up. So that's another nice feature that it has if you want to have a whole nother row of icons without actually taking up screen on the taking up space on the screen. Um, now the next thing we're going to go over is the actual app drawer. It zooms in like um, kind of like the stock for you except it's flat. It doesn't have that cube effect. So um, I personally like that the best, the flat version. Some people prefer the cube or whatever. Another thing that you can do if you don't prefer this is go to menu, go to ADW settings again right here in the corner and go to drawer settings and you can actually check the box to have the original Galaxy S launcher or app launcher and you check that, go home it's going to restart itself right quick and instead of it going vertically it's going to be kind of like uh, any other Galaxy phone and you hit home and you slide from left to right some people like that better than the vertical launcher I think I'm going to leave it like that. It actually is kind of nice. So I'm going to leave it like that just for change of scenery. Um, the next thing that you can do is change the number of rows or columns that you have on your home screen. So if you want more than four up and down, because usually you have four horizontally and four vertically, you can actually change how many you want by once again going to menu, going to ADW settings, and going to do, 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 yeah, screen preferences. You then scroll down to desktop layout and you can choose desktop columns. You can go up to eight if you want. And then same thing with the desktop rows, it goes up to eight. So more customizing options if you want that. Um, 
The next thing we're going to go over is the actual sense like previews that I showed you. Um, they don't have too much space in between like on Launcher Pro let's say where you can very easily see the lines in between the screens. They're a little bit closer together but it actually um, zooms out faster than Launcher Pro so that's the thing that I like about it better. Another thing that you can actually do is change the whole theme of the ADW launcher itself. I said we were going to get into that, so I'm going to show you how to do that right quick. And you do that by going to Menu, ADW Settings, and the Themes and Preferences tab. Then, if you don't have any themes, what you want to do is hit Get Themes. But if you do have themes, you just go to Select. And you're initially going to have the ADW default theme. So that's going to be there. So to get themes, you just hit get themes. It's going to take you into the market. And it's going to show you, uh, I don't know how many there is, but there is a lot of different themes that you can get. It's still loading. But um, after you get a theme, you hit apply theme like I showed. Select theme as I have the sticker theme on right now. And it's going to reload itself. and you have a customized dock and a bunch of customized icons as well. I don't know if you can see it too well, but the dock looks peeled like a sticker because this is a sticker theme. And then the Gmail app is like peeled a little bit as well. And the Twitter app is kind of like more cartoony if you can see that. Hmm. Well, the next thing that we're going to over go over is how to change the actual apps in the dock and it's super easy all you have to do is pick any app that you want and then hold it and drag it down there and it's there it's not complicated at all and if you want another one down there if I don't want Google or Earth down there I'm just gonna go back to my Hanson and put it right back where I want it um, now another thing that you can do is actually the swipe gestures which I was talking about earlier how I don't have both hands free to pinch all the time you can actually just set up swipe gestures and how you do that is you go to menu you go to ADW settings and then you go to UI settings and then from there oh my bad you go to system preferences and it's going to be under swipe down or swipe up now, I have my swipe down to show previews. You can have it to open the app drawer, show or hide the status bar, show or hide notifications, or move to default um, home screen, or even open the app itself. Um, so like I said, I have my swipe down to show previews, and then I have my swipe up to hide the status bar. So I'm going to show you guys how that works really quick. Very easy. It looks kind of nice. I get kind of paranoid when I can't see my notifications though, so I don't use it all the time, but sometimes I do use it just because it gives you a little bit more space and looks a, little more, a bit more slick. But I find that the swiping to look at all the previews is very handy because, like I said before, you may not have both hands free to actually go ahead and pinch the screen. Now ADW doesn't come with its own widgets like uh, HTC Sense or Launcher Pro. So all the widgets that you see here, I've downloaded from the market. You can download a calendar widget, a people widget, you can find a Twitter widget as well. It's not hard to find, they're all in the market. So if you're looking for widgets, you can also get those from the market and still keep those widgets. Um, another thing that you can do is have up to either one or up to seven home screens. And to do that, you would hit edit, and it's sort of like the other Galaxy S phones, or I'll, I'll say the Vibrant. You hit menu, and then you hit edit in the bottom left-hand corner. And then that will show you either you want to plus the screen, add another screen, or you can even swap which screen is on. Like, this screen is all the way on my far left side, and if I hit this little arrow right here in the bottom right corner, it'll switch which page it's on, so now it's over here. If I don't want that page, I just exit it out right there. So it's pretty easy to use. A nice feature. Another thing that you can do is actually back up all your home screen settings and the actual ADW settings themselves. 
by going to menu, ADW settings, and going to backup and restore. It's a really nice feature if you want to use a different launcher for a little while, then you come back and just restore everything that you have. Okay, now I'm going to go through the settings right quick as we end this video. We got screen preferences, drawer settings, preview settings, system preferences, UI settings, themes and previews, and then of course the backup and restore that I just talked about. And at the bottom you got restart ADW or reset. So that's pretty much it for ADW. It is my launcher of choice right now. Um, mainly because of the, the gestures. I really really like that and then the ability to theme the dock as well as the icons as well. So once again this is Blindside from darkjoy.com. Follow us on Twitter.